Shalom, shalom and welcome. Welcome to End Time Reflections. My name is Seminiah, and these are the words I'm compelled to present before an awakening set-apart nation. This is the sixth installment of this podcast series. And I want you to know that these messages are addressed to those who believe they are drawn by the Almighty Creator, the Almighty Father, Yahuwah, those who seek to do His will. It is my position that if this describes you, as do I, that we have or will discover that it is the Most High Yahuwah that draws us to His manifest word, That comes to us in the name of Yahushua. Let me first say that the views expressed do not necessarily reflect the owners, management, and or shareholders of this media platform. In this this sixth installment, I want to bring your attention to the words making known deliverance and judgment. In the midst of end times are growing uncertainty. And among this is the need to discern and discover what must and will be done. We will see that as uncertainty is growing widespread, that there are those among us who are undiscerning and those who are unbelieving or asleep, who are, who are unsure that the presence of the Almighty Father is before them or us. There are scriptures that speak of individuals falling away, being led astray, as well as wandering from place to place, uncertain of what must be done. The words I present, my brothers and sisters, contribute towards answers, answers from the Almighty Father to his children. And if you want some scriptures regarding people wandering or led astray, or even the warning dealing with led astray, consider Amos 4.8, which talks about individuals wandering from one city to the next, looking for water. It also describes other things that are occurring in Amos 4.8 that we can witness unraveling to this very day. Matthew 24, 4 and 5, we see the Mashiach, Yahushua, warning us to not let anyone lead us astray. And he tells us that some will be. And if you look at, that was Matthew 24, 4 and 5. And if you look at 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 and 4, it will let us know that in these end times, people will be led astray. My brothers and sisters, my heart's desire is for us to grow in discernment. Grow in love and discerning the voice of the Spirit of Yahushua and knowing that he will direct and guide our footsteps. We will discover that he works in us, through us, one towards another, my brothers and sisters. We will recognize that Yahushua is among us. To the set-apart children of Yahuwah who are drawn to Yahushua Mashiach, each day we will begin to discover answers regarding what is expected of us. It is important to recognize my brothers and sisters, to recognize his presence and to make it known to one another. You see, individually and collectively, my brothers and sisters, we represent a set-apart nation, the house of Yahuwah. As I say often, each major feast times has a purpose beyond just fellowship. And I am bringing this up, my brothers and sisters, because in making known deliverance and judgment, We will find if we are able to examine thoroughly, if we're able to vet those we come in contact, not to say looking at the one in the mirror, examining our own actions as we speak and interact with one another. And I speak of how the Feast of Trumpets is a time to make known deliverance and judgment. It's a time for proclamations. It is my position that for Yashua to become complete and whole, that unity will and must come, my brothers and sisters. I further believe we will learn how to make known when we receive deliverance. And we will know how to shout hallelujah and make known when judgment is working its work in us, through us, one towards another. Remember, it is written that judgment begins at the house of Yahuwah first. My brothers and sisters, to make known deliverance and judgment is critical during these final days. There are many searching for answers during these last days. But I want to caution you, my brothers and sisters, for all who make a noise, who speak of deliverance and judgment, are not our brothers and sisters. Not all who declare judgment are with us. 
in one body, mind, or spirit. I want you to remember to take heed to the life in Matthew 25, 24, 5, and 6. It lets us know that many will be led astray. It lets us know not to be troubled. Matthew 24, 5, and 6. It reads, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah, and they shall lead many astray. And you shall begin to hear of fightings and reports of fighting. See that you are not troubled, for these have to take place. But the end is not yet. Matthew 7, 21 to 23, it reads as follows. Not everyone who says to me, Master, Master, shall enter into the reign of heavens, but he who is doing the desire of my Father in the heavens. Many shall say to me in that day, Master, Master, have we not prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and done many mighty works in your name? And then I shall declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. You who work lawlessness. Yashraal, set apart Yashraal, my family, as things become intense as they are happening as I speak. It is not he who is the loudest that represents set apartness. It is those who demonstrate and respond to living set apart instructions and orders from the Almighty Father. Let us begin to know when and how to make known deliverance and judgment. For it is critical during these final days. It is a component to making known his presence before us. I have recently compelled, been compelled to introduce the words ark thieves to reflect what happened to those who taken the ark of Yahuwah. They stole something that didn't belong to them. And I'm referencing 1 Samuel 4.11. But I invite you to read 1 Samuel 4th chapter through the 6th chapter and discover what happened To the thieves of the ark of Yahuwah. You see my brothers and sisters. It is my position that there are those who will steal messages brought forth by set apart obedient children. To use for themselves. For self gratification. In other words individuals who are not walking in obedience. Will steal the words of those who are. And use them to try to make it look like they are spiritual. Or they are strong. Or they are in tune with what is set apart. I'm compelled to believe that such individuals are arc thieves. And I believe just as what happened to the nations that stole the ark, we will see individuals who tried to misuse, misrepresent, set apartness, also face some regretful conditions, events, and experiences. My brothers and sisters, consider this. When the spirit of Yahushua delivers us, he takes us to a place where we can shout hallelujah. Do you not want to make that known to others, deliverance and how the relationship of the almighty father works his promises from discipline, from instructions to guidance? I'm compelled to believe that those who abuse messages from the almighty father will face the fruit of such actions. Pray and watch, my brothers and sisters. The things that belong to the Most High are for the children of the Most High, as he see fit. My brothers and sisters, I stress often the need to vet and examine all things. I cannot stress enough to ask questions, more questions, and even more questions. The time is now to identify those led by the Spirit of Yahuwah. In Yahushua's name, let us rise up, learning, being delivered, embracing what is expected and what must be done. The time is now to examine all the noise and discern what is indeed set apart. That time is now to make known deliverance and judgment as we find ourselves growing in set apartness. A word of caution. Sometimes it's better to identify how we receive words of set apartness than to tamper or rephrase it in a way that makes it look like it was delivered to us and mess it up. In other words, let's say you were given a word and you were providing that word to set apart Yasharal. And I heard that word. And instead of saying, I received it from you as the spirit of Yahushua worked in you, I make it look like I had an encounter with Yahushua all by myself and do not give you credit for yielding to the spirit of the most high working in you. This is wicked. 
and deceptive. We will find that to strengthen the body of Yasharal, it's important to identify when the spirit of Yahuwah is indeed working in us, one towards another. I once experienced a person who would come to me privately and then go to their prospective fellowship and speak the words that I had given them that was given to me by the Almighty Father. They would speak it as though it was their own, that the Father came to them, that Yahushua came to them. And they would never mention that they was talking to a brother and Yahushua worked through that brother. This specific individual was in, was attempting to make people think that they were discerning the words from the spirit of Yahuwah directly. This is wicked and wrong. You see, my brothers and sisters, when we begin to recognize we have a discerning eye and ear to hear the spirit of Abba Yahuwah work through us one to one another, this make known his presence. This make known his promises to us. One way to determine whether a person is an art thief is to ask them questions and more questions. Ask them where did they get it from? How did they come to that conclusion? Ask them to tell you more about it. For I say to you, O Yasharal, someone who received and discerned messages directly from the Almighty Father through Yahushua Mashiach, or someone was that is honest enough to say that a brother or a sister delivered that message, that teaching to them, I can assure you when the truth is presented, it contributes towards making us stronger and complete. Yahshua, we will discover when we identify and make known the things that the Almighty Father do and say and work in us, this makes his presence more widely known. We will truly see the life in Ephesians 5.21, which talks about subjecting yourselves to each other in the fear of the Almighty One. Though the literal speaks of marriage, remember the first marriage is our relationship with Yahushua Mashiach. The second marriage is should we take a wife or should the wife have a husband? Or in the case of a husband having multiple wives, for this is indeed also a component of set-apartness, of a set-apart nation. Come, O set-apart family, let's identify and make known deliverance and judgment. As we are directed, remember, judgment begins at the house of Yahuwah first. And many failed to believe that he would work in us, through us, one towards another, to clean and refine, to direct us to the blood of the lamb, so that we may rise up anew when we stumble and fall. Behold, my brothers and sisters, the hand of the almighty father Yahuwah. And Yahushua's name is rising as end times get intense. I pray, truly I pray for each of you in more ways than you can imagine. I pray that each of us grow in discerning the presence and guidance from the spirit of Yahushua. I pray that we know how to identify those obedient versus those who imitate righteousness. I pray each of us embrace the importance of why we should make known Deliverance and judgment. For judgment is the act of separating the good from the wrong. Righteousness from unrighteousness. Judgment is a part of our discipline. Judgment also is a part of acknowledging the response that the Almighty Father has regarding our actions and our behaviors. My brothers and sisters, make it known for deliverance will come. Be encouraged. Our redemption is drawing near. On that note, I say to you, my brothers and sisters, consider what I said, making known deliverance and judgment. Consider its purpose. And witness the fruit of such actions. On that note, my brothers and sisters, I say to you, Shalom.